buddy, what's going on? I'm changing this tire. Do you need some tire levers or tubes or anything? No. I'm going to change this tire using only the power of my mind. What? That's not going to work. You know, like Obi-Wan in Star Wars played Jedi mind tricks on the stormtroopers? No. How John Coffey healed people in the Green Mile? What? No. How the kid in Firestar started things on fire? Stop it. Stop it. Look, I don't know anything about telepathy. Telekinesis. Whatever. I don't know how this stuff works, but you're never going to get that tire to inflate without... So... Hello, and welcome to Wheel and Sprocket's how-to video series. My name is Matt Geib, I'm the store manager here at Delfield Wheel and Sprocket in Wisconsin. Joining me is Peter, and today we're going to be giving you a lesson on how to change a flat tire for all of you who aren't versed in the art of uh, telekinesis. If a flat tire hasn't happened to you yet, it's only a matter of time before you accidentally run over a piece of glass or get a pinch flat while shredding the gnar. The first order of business is to remove the tire that needs to be fixed from your bike. If you are doing this at home, we strongly recommend using a bicycle stand. If you are on the trail or away from home, flipping your bike upside down in a safe location will be helpful. Just make sure you remove the handlebar mounted accessories such as bike computers before flipping your bike. For this video, we will be using the rear wheel of a bike equipped with rim brakes. Some of these steps will be eliminated when performing a flat repair on a front wheel or on bikes equipped with disc brakes. Before removing your wheel, be sure to remove the cable tension to your rear derailleur by shifting all the way to the smallest cog on your cassette. This will make the removal and reinstallation of your rear wheel much easier. You can omit this step when dealing with a front wheel. Second, if your bike has rim brakes, you will need to undo them by squeezing the top of the caliper together and removing the brake cable from the brake assembly. Third, unclamp the quick release skewer and loosen it as necessary. Usually five to 10 turns will be more than sufficient. If you have the bike upright, generally the wheel will fall out of the dropouts, so make sure to be ready for the wheel to drop out. Next, you'll need to navigate the cassette of the rear wheel around the chain. Continue holding the wheel with your left hand and use your right hand to pull the rear derailleur back. Now that the wheel is out, you can begin your flat repair. Completely deflate the tire and unseat both beads of the tire so that the beads of the tire are sitting in the inner channel of the rim. Take the tire lever and use it to pull off one tire bead over the rim. Run the tire lever between the rim and the tire to complete the removal of the bead of the tire. Remove the tube from the tire and inspect the inside of the tire before installing a new tube. Oftentimes, the item that caused the flat tire, such as a thorn, can still be stuck in the tire, so make sure to visually inspect and run your hand along the inside of the tire to make sure you won't have any problems with another immediate flat tire. Inflate the tube slightly, just enough to give it some shape, and then install the new tube Rebead the tire and inflate the tire to an appropriate pressure. Reinstall the wheel and you're ready to enjoy your ride. If at any time you feel like you're in over your head, feel free to give us a call or stop in. You can find your nearest Wheel and Sprocket location at the Wheel and Sprocket app or at the website below. Thanks for joining us and be on the lookout for more of our informational video series. I'm Matt. And I'm Peter and thanks for joining us. Thank you.